Hello, in this video we're going to drive the price expansion path. The price expansion path, or sometimes called price consumption curve, is an equation that gives a consumer's utility maximizing choice when the price of good X varies implicitly, holding income and price of good Y constant. So the utility maximizing choice here of good Y, Y star, is a function of X star. The utility maximizing choice of good X, holding income, and the price of good Y constant. It's easiest to understand this concept by a graph. So here we have a consumer. The consumer is first maximizing utility at this point right here, where Y is 5 and X is 3. Here the price of good X falls, so the budget line rotates, pivots outwards, and the consumer gets on a higher indifference curve, this black indifference curve, where the consumer is now consuming 6 units of Y and 5 units of good X. This line here through these points, these utility maximizing points, is what we're going to try to derive. We're going to try to derive an, an expression or equation for this curve right here, the price expansion path. So here's the consumer's utility function and the consumer's income and prices. The price of good X we're just going to leave as P subscript X and the price of good Y is ten dollars. We're going to get the marginal utility of good X which is Y plus one. We're going to get the marginal utility of good Y which is X plus one. We're going to form the utility maximizing condition where the marginal rate of substitution equals the ratio of the prices. So the marginal rate of substitution is the marginal utility of good X, Y plus 1, divided by the marginal utility of good Y, X plus 1, and we set that equal to the price of good X divided by the price of good Y. So just rewriting. Now the key here is we're going to solve this utility maximizing condition for the price of good X. So multiplying through by 10. And now our next step is to plug this result into our budget constraint. So our budget constraint is 100 equals the price of good X times units of good X plus the price of good Y, which is $10 times units of good Y, where we see this P subscript X. We're going to plug in our result from the utility maximizing condition. And now we're going to simplify this for Y. So the first thing I'm going to do here is divide everything through by 10. So 100 divided by 10 is 10, and then these 10s over here on the right-hand side cancel. Moving on. Just rewriting that last result. And then taking this x and multiplying it by y, and then multiplying it by 1. Now we're going to get a common like denominator here on the right-hand side, so we can add these two terms. Before I do that, I'll do y times x and y times 1. Now adding both terms on the right hand side, we have the following. And now we're going to multiply everything through by x plus 1. So the left hand side becomes 10x plus 10. And then let's subtract x from both sides. So 10x minus x leaves us with the 9x. And then on the left hand side, let's factor out a y term. And then divide through by 2x plus 1. And that is our price expansion path. So once again, our price expansion path. And so if x is 5, plugging that into our price expansion path, the utility maximizing choice for a good y will be 5. So, in other words, there is a budget line holding income constant at $100, the price of good Y constant at $10, and there's some price for good X that is tangent to the indifference curve at X equals 5 and Y equals 5. So, let's implicitly vary the price of good X. So, now if X equals 10.5, so the price had to fall, consumers buying more of good X. Plugging that 10.5 into the price expansion path, y equals 4.75. So in other words, there's a budget line holding income constant at $100, price of good y constant at 10, and there's some price for good x. That is tangent to the indifference curve at this combination here, 10.5 and 4.75.
All right, that's it.